All right, time for another like shitty video. But uh, last time I made a Pokemon video, it was about what team I would have for the champion. Maybe go check out that video. This time I'm making a team for if I was a gym leader. You know, the final gym leader, aka the eighth gym leader. I'm the toughest. I'm gonna have all six Pokemon, and also make it a little bit more difficult. My Pokemon have six times 31 IVs. It's best nature, best ability, and it has a pretty decent move set. And they all have items. So it's gonna be like difficult. You're gonna earn that last badge. And also, I'm a steel type trainer. Which is gonna lead into my first Pokemon I throw out Fortress. Fortress will be my lowest level Pokemon at level 51. Its move set would include Toxic Spikes, Stealth Rocks, Spike, and Explosion. Now, as you can tell, it has one job and one job only. Ruin your day by having all the hazards set up. Meaning, you're going to die eventually from Toxic unless you're a Flying type. But then I have Stealth Rocks, <laughs> and then I have Spikes too. So if you're a grounded rock fire type, oof, your, your day is going to be horrible. Ain't that fucking sad, so don't even think about oh, killing it. Because it's getting off at least Stealth Rocks, Toxic Spikes, or Spikes. And then once I, if I have the chance to set up all three of them, I'll just kill myself. And I also just think having a dual type as a bug would be just cool. You know, not just pure steel. A little bit more variety, which leads me into a Pokemon that is growing on me every day now that I play Pokemon. Especially Pokemon Big Bronze. I really want to play a generation with I have Empoleon. I might get a Switch and get Brilliant Diamond. I don't know. But Empoleon... Is my next would be my next mon level 52, so one level higher. And uh, one reason I actually did add Napoleon is just because it's just such a cool Pokemon. I see so many people banter on it and bash on it any chance they get. I just think it's such a cool mon. I love its design, I love the little tie and like the little suit. It truly looks like a royal king or queen. I love the Triton as a beak face. I, I think it's so cool. I love its color scheme. I just love everything about it. I, I just love Napoleon. That's why I have it on this steel type team. I know it's primary water, but hey, steel is steel. Which actually leads into the moveset of Thorch Dance, Waterfall Steel Wing, and Joe Pack. Yeah, I know Napoleon has more special attack. But who cares when it can learn Earthquake? If it can learn Earth Power, by all means, it'd be a different. It'd be a special type set. But no, doesn't get it. Oh. Just had to close my door, and oh, also, that's leftovers. That's Joe Pecto County, your pesky little fighting type. Steel Wing for the fairy and rock and whatever types you bring. And then Source Hands from Waterfall. Copper Raja. I think I said that right. It's my would be my third Pokemon. Level 52. Why I have never actually used it yet, because I haven't played Gen 8. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen this first stage, and I think it's the cutest Pokemon ever. Second stage is pretty good. Not cute, but you know. It's an improvement. I'd probably use this thing as a... Just go in and try to kill something. Because this is honestly probably my weakest mon. Because, you know, its stat spread is not good at all. That's why it has the Assault Vest to help out that weak, very weak special stat. Of deep special defense. And it's moveset is supposed to help it a little bit because it is pure steel. Going in with the iron head and the play rough and power whip for 
play rough for fighting types, power whip for what's it called? Ground and earthquake for your pesky little fire types. And then obviously Iron Head. Next up, oh yeah, I just don't really have that much attachment to copper right yet. I think it's this cool Pokemon. Now, a Mon that I've actually never used in a playthrough team, but in a lot of competitive battles, and oh my god. Do I love me Excavalier? Whew. Especially now in Gen 8, that gets Razor Shell? Or, yeah, Gen 8 gets Razor Shell. Because of, uh... Level 52? I've... Oh, I'm a very big Gen 5 guy, if you know me. If you ever, like, talk Pokemon with me, you know I very much love Generation 5. It's my favorite generation to my... to this day. First generation I ever started in. Surprise! None of my top... Three Pokemon, or not even top four, are from Gen 5, actually. Fifth actually going to Braviary, and then six going to Excavalier. So, I mean, like, yeah, the two, the, like, top six, the six and five are in there. But, like, it's weird, I don't know. But back to the video, not Generation 5 rant. It's level 52, moves Razor Shell for coverage for fire types. Iron Head. Knock off an X Scissor. Knock off to knock off any other pesky items you have. X Scissor because it's bug type. Iron Head because it's a steel type gem. And then Razor Shell for coverage. And the life will give that Razor Shell knock off a little bit more big, big of a boost. Next up would be the Dragon Steel type. So, <laughs> Derladon. I think a Pokemon I never got to use, but. I'm very fascinated with it because it's, a sh it's the first Steel Dragon, which I think is such a cool combo. Dragon is a cool combo or a type, and Steel is obviously the best type. No, hands down, don't even argue with me. And to combine those two, you're just going to get something completely rad. Durladon is the opposite of rad. It's just interesting. I think it's a goofy design, and I love it. Maybe next time I make a... Cooler Dragon Shield type, not a goofy one. But I like the way they went with it. I wouldn't change a thing about Duraludon. It is also level 52. It's my fifth Pokemon, getting to the end. It has Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon Protect, and Dark Pulse. Really has no type of coverage over anything. It's mainly here just to attempt to hurt your team. Maybe knock out someone, a little straggler with a little bit of health left. Honestly, it might also be a weak mon too. It has the assault vest. Yeah, these the gen, two Gen Eight Pokemon are pretty weak, but still like them. But oh boy, do I know no Pokemon better than my Ace. Well, besides Lightning Slider, because I know him like the back of my hand. Steelix, <laughs> my third favorite Pokemon ever. Ever since Gen 5, before I found Lit, and it was Psyduck and Steelix. I loved those two. And, yeah, Lit came along, and Steelix got bumped from 2 to 3. But, 3 is my favorite number. Steelix is 3. So, I do have a big fondness of Steelix. I love it. He's also my favorite Steel type, too. And one of the reasons why Steel Types is my favorite Pokemon, I just think, like, he just represents it so well. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. Its stats doesn't do it much favor. Yes, it has 200 defense, but everything else is mediocre. But Steel is just a, such a beautiful Pokemon, and I'm so mad I've never got to use its Mega in battle yet. Especially in X and Y. I'm going to change that next time. I will find a way to get next Steel X. But anyways, it is my highest level Pokemon being my ace after all. Level 56 with the moveset Earthquake, Iron Tail, Crunch, Ice Fang, and a Mega Stone. Yes, I know, Gen 8 doesn't have Megas. I don't care. Steelix is that exception because this Mega is so cool. Probably the best Mega in the game. <laughs> I know I'm biased. But after you attempt to beat me, if you do successfully beat me, 
you will notice the only Pokemon that doesn't have Steel type is Fortress, but everyone else either has Iron Head, Steel Wing, or Iron Tailor, or Flash Cannon. So I'd either make him, I guess, Iron Head a TM for you and give it to you, because it is late game. I am the eighth gym leader. Iron Head's powerful, so why not? Iron Head would be my TM. And I'd give you the, what's that called? The bridge badge. You know, some bridges are made out of steel. And steel is used to connect stuff or build stuff, so. I think it would be a good name for the badge. And for the region I'd be in. I'm sorry, I'm taking it to Gen 5. I just don't think that Marlin. I'm going to Gen 2 Black 2. Or Gen 5 Black 2, my bad. Because Marlin is just... Why have a water type that late in the game? Like, especially as 8 Gen, his team is so weak. So I'm taking it to Gen 5. And for the city I take... <sighs> that's a tough one. Uh, I'd probably honestly take the city that Clay's in. That's probably the city I take. It'd make, it'd make the most sense. You'd go through me, see me, but not be able to challenge me. You'd have to come back. How do you like my team of Fortress, Empoleon, Copper Raja, Excavalier, Drilladon, Steelix? I think this is a pretty mighty squad that will give you somewhat of a challenge, but it's not too difficult. Maybe with the perfect. A 6s31 252 in the stats where I would put him at. They'd be hard because I'd give Fortress max 252 in defense and special defense. 252 in attack and special defense. 252 in HP and attack. 252 in special defense and uh, defense. 252 in special defense and special attack. 252 in defense and attack. So, you have a. Ch the only one you can probably could not Oko is obviously Fortress and Excavalier, but this team is still very beatable. I just wanted to put some steel, steel type of one that I do really, really love to my heart to this day. Love them. Will always love these Pokemon. The only one I have the least sentimental attachment to would probably be Fortress, and yet I still love this buddy. Copper, rad, uh, Copper Raja, I just think it's a fucking rad guy. I love Fortress, just a big old old blob. It's a little handy out of it. But, yeah. Thank you for watching. This video was my... What, what would my gym be? If I was a gym leader. And, uh, I guess I'll catch you later.